seeing people, young and old, male and female, secular and Islamist, all calling for the downfall of President Mubarak. They're saying 30 years is enough. And the reforms that he's announced, appointing a vice president, changing the cabinet, are just not enough. A lot of public anger pouring out onto the streets. And the epicenter is here in Tahrir Square, in the heart of the city, a critical intersection that's now become the center point for public discontent. We're watching people day and night. They're saying, get out, get out, Mubarak. They're calling for death to Mubarak, saying, Mubarak, get out, and calling him an American agent. These crowds are growing stronger, they're angry, and they want to see the president go. This is what's left of the headquarters of the National Democratic Party, the ruling party of Egypt, the party behind President Hosni Mubarak. A sense here that there's a shock, a building like this at the center of political power could come to this state. You can see it's been completely trashed, parts of the building still smoldering, and debris across the ground. This is really the remnants of public anger against the regime. And this building has become ground zero of what's become a battle between the state and the street. You can see the police trucks that were here to guard this building completely burnt out. Uh, and graffiti scribbled across the wall telling President Mubarak to get out of town, telling his wife to leave the country and calling the elites of this country thieves. So a lot of anger that have played themselves out, that are still playing themselves out as we figure out how this party is going to respond. I'm standing in the Arcadia Center. It's one of the ritziest retail and residential buildings in Cairo on the banks of the River Nile. And it's been completely trashed and looted. There has been looting across Egypt, not everywhere, but enough to keep people very spooked. We've seen citizens on patrol keeping their own neighborhood safe. And this has made a huge dent in business. A lot of companies closed, banks closed, the stock market just not open for business while Cairo figures out what to make of this destruction.